Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this rave lead. In more traditional rave music, this sound is often used more like an effect, but here I'm using it in a wave or trance inspired way as a lead sound. Before I start, just a reminder to subscribe if you value this content and that I have preset and sample packs available in the description below the video. For example, the bass used in this video is from my recently released Serum preset pack number two. As always, the preset I'm making in this video will be made available for free in the description. This is quite a simple patch, so let's get started. I've initialized a new instance of Serum, dragged the MIDI over, and I've turned the instance of Serum down as well to make sure that it doesn't clip. We're going to go to the basic mini, and we're going to choose this sawtooth waveform. And we're going to make sure that Serum is in monophonic mode. We're going to turn the unison all the way up to 16 voices solo the patch and we can detune it using the detune knob you kind of want to get it to the point where it sort of starts to sound almost a bit too dissonant I mean, it's good to listen in the context of the bass line as well. So that's probably a good level. We want to push the attack out on the amp envelope a little bit. Just solo this again on its own. We can also add a bit of white noise. just to make the sound, obviously it's quite a bright sound already, but just to add some more subtle brightness. We can also on the amp envelope, this is kind of optional, but you can take the sustain down and it can be a bit more of a pluck. So this is essentially the patch completed and now we can start to process it. The first thing I'm doing here is I'm bringing in the Ableton saturator. I'm gonna turn the output down. Turn the drive up, and then we can turn the dry wet down. Just makes it sound a bit more aggressive. The only issue with it sometimes is it can start to actually bring out certain resonances. So we'd use a, uh, an EQ anyway, and we'd. Um, EQ below the first harmonic. We also might want to take out some of the whistly frequencies. Like around there. I'll also use Isotope Alloy 2 to mono the instrument below 2 kilohertz. And this helps to ensure mono compatibility. We can also mix in some reverb on delay using the sends, and I'm going to do this in the context of the track. You can see I've got these reverb and delay sends set up and I'm just sending various levels of the lead to both the reverb and the delay. Finally, you may have noticed by the MIDI that there are certain points at which I have multiple notes. In monophonic mode, if you have multiple MIDI notes being triggered at the same time, Serum will automatically trigger the higher ones and ignore the lower ones. Remember, monophonic means only one note is triggered at a time. However, I originally wrote this as a polyphonic pattern. So 
So I'd encourage you to experiment with this sound by turning the monophonic mode off and trying to use some chords. And this can work with any lead sounds. And you can also experiment with the polyphony within Serum if you feel things are getting too cluttered. You see that the polyphony, i.e. the number of voices, is next to the monophonic mode button within Serum. Yeah, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you next time.